Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this one I will be going through how I put on my Jasmine costume. If you want to know how I made this costume, please check the description box below for a full playlist that goes through the entirety of making this costume. I'm starting by putting on the pants, which close in the back with a series of hooks and bars and hooks and eyes depending on um, the fabric that it's attached to. So the first lot of fabric is attached with hooks and bars. The second lot is also with hooks and bars and then a hook and eye. And then the last lot, which is the organza fabric at the very top, um, that one closes with a hook and eye. So all together, I think there's four different closures on the pants. So those are the pants, as you can tell. Next up is the bodice. The bodice has a lace, a lace up back with a zip that goes over the top to hide the lacing. And the top part of the bodice at the back is complete, it's sewn completely shut. And I did this because I thought it would just be easier. Obviously not easier to put on, but easier to manage when just sewing and dealing with it in general. So really the only opening is literally the back, the center back part of the bodice. So there is a bra that's attached to the bodice which needs to be closed first before the lacing can then be closed. So the bra obviously closes with hooks and eyes and then the corset component of the bodice laces up. In the video I used it's not actually actually corset lacing, it's, um, it's just rope that I bought from Spotlight um, because my corset lacing was being used in one of my other costumes. So usually I don't use this rope material, um, but for the purposes of the video, I am. So to lace up the back of the corset, you just pull on the different X's, the crosses in the back, and yeah, continue doing that and pulling on the bunny loops on the side until um, it's fit fitting nice and snug. Um, as usual, I'll link the tutorial diagram that I follow for lacing all of my corset costumes in the description below so you can see how I actually lace this corset. So once I've achieved the desired fit of the corset, I will then tie the waist um, I will tie the um, lacing at the waist in a bow. So just a regular bow, not a knot, a bow, and I leave the longer lengths of the cording so I know which cord to pull when I go to untie the bow. So once the bow has been tied, I then wrap it around my fingers and then tuck that into the pants. When I'm using regular corset lacing and not this rope stuff, I will um, tuck the lacing all the way around under the bodice and it will extend to the front of the bodice as well. Um, so it's evenly in distributed that way. So now the zip closes up over the top of the corset. It's a jacket zipper which um, can be taken undone completely at the bottom so it opens up completely so I can get the, the bodice on and off. Um, obviously I'm having some trouble here. Um, usually I would not wear um, I would not wear like so many layers underneath this costume but for the video I did. Um, and it would be it would be easier to do up if I had someone else to help me, um, which I didn't for the video. So moving on to the hair, I like to pin the two front sections of my hair um, to to the back of my head, and that's just to create some volume around the the top part of my head. Otherwise, I feel like um, with the crown and the veil 
um, and you know the earrings and necklace and just everything going on in general um, the hair tends to look a bit flat if I don't do this so that is something I generally do when wearing this costume and for those of you asking if that's my real hair yes and no so my hair is naturally very black and I am wearing a wig but the wig is too small because it was a $10 cheap wig off eBay um, so the wig's too small for my head so I use it as a half wig so there's only there's only um, like the back portion which is not my hair if that makes sense but the front portion is so it looks natural because that hairline is my actual hairline so I'm just pulling down the sleeves there because sometimes they like to creep up and moving on to the actual hairstyle I start by pulling the two um, bottom sections of my hair into like this half up half down sort of um, situation but as you can tell that hair is not mine and so it's really knotty if you have wigs please look after them and brush them out regularly unlike me <laughs> so with those two bottom portions of the hair I just tie those in um, yeah just tie them <laughs> and then I work on tying the rest of the hair into that uh, bubble shape um, the iconic bubble shape hairstyle that Jasmine has from the cartoon she also has the same hairstyle in the live-action film which is what I am imitating so once those have been tied it's time to add the little gold jewel pieces into her hair so these were kindly made for me by my sister they're made out of EVA foam that have been molded to form that round shape then they have just been painted gold and she stuck a whole bunch of beads and rhinestones on them and then to tie them off they just have a simple cotton tape so I can tie them tie them into my hair so that's all those are if you want to see the video about all of the accessories and everything that's in a specific video within the playlist in the description box below so definitely check out that if you're interested in the accessories I didn't go through the process of making the accessories as such but I do explain what my sister did and you do get to see um, a close-up of the accessories next up is the necklace so here's the necklace and the matching earrings I bought these in a set off eBay um, and when I bought them off eBay they were a very green color so I did paint over the top of the pendants to make them more of this teal color so I'm just popping on the necklace and the earrings I do have another set of earrings which I change into when I um, do any dancing in this dress um, or in this costume I should say it's not a dress um, and that's because these earrings are quite heavy next up is the cape so the cape closes or oh, attaches in the back with um, four four snaps or poppers I'm not sure what they're actually called um, but yeah those plastic snap things that just you just pop it into place um, next up is the tiara and the veil so the tiara was also made by my sister again out of EVA foam painted gold and she put decorations and things on it there are just two plastic combs on the side and that way it can just easily slot into my hair and now I'm putting on the veil so the veil is a piece of chiffon with rhinestones stuck on it and it also has these little hair clips with um, the EVA foam uh, jewel pieces which my sister again made for me thank you sis I just clip that into my hair and we're pretty much done one last thing I have these finger loops on the cape and that way I can slip my finger into those my fingers into those loops and that will hold up the cape 
and it looks really cool and is fun to twirl in. So that is the whole costume. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to show a few clips from when I wore this costume at a convention last year. I really love the way the cape twirls. So pretty. So here's how it looks in natural daylight at a convention and I just love the way the cape moves. It's my favourite part. And a boomerang for good measure. And if you are interested in seeing more of this costume, I have two other videos about the showcase of it. One of them is my Jasmine dance and then the other one is a general costume showcase which is something I usually do on my channel. So make sure to check out those and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!